Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to take a look at actions. Actions are created by building scripts. Actions and their scripts allow users to perform operations using the data entered into controls, such as formatting controls, changing property values, simple math, creating pop-up windows, and focus or unfocusing controls. Before we use actions, we must first understand how bindings work and the different parts of the control. If you haven't done so already, I would suggest reading the training documentation or watching the videos on bindings and controls first. To use actions, we must be on the design form page. From here, we can select the wrench icon on the top right side of the panel. If there are already actions available, they will be displayed in the drop down in the scripts list. To create a new script, select the add icon, then enter the name of the script, then select the green checkmark button. From the action window, we can edit the script name by selecting the blue pencil button or delete the script by selecting the trash can button. Scripts are made up of three sections, triggers, conditions, and actions that are dependent of each other based on the hierarchy from top to bottom. Each section does not need to be populated for the action to work. Certain scripts may only need a trigger paired with an action or a condition paired with an action or sometimes just an action alone. The values selected in each section will build a script to create the required action in the form. The trigger section defines what will initiate the action. To add a trigger, select the add button. More than one trigger can be added if required, and to delete a trigger, select the trash can button. The type list gives the choice between bindings or controls. The trigger list is dependent on the type selected. A list of bindings or controls will be available to choose from. The trigger list for control type is populated by the name of the control. The control name can be selected for any of the three parts of a control. For the event list, it is dependent on the value selected on the first two options, type and trigger. The first, unload, is only used with the canvas to trigger the action once the canvas has loaded. On blur is only used with controls to trigger an action once the control has been unselected. On change is used with both bindings and controls to trigger the action once the property value has been changed. On focus is only used with controls to trigger an action once the control has been selected. The condition section identifies what specifications are required for the action. When a binding meets a certain condition, it will allow the action to happen to add an action, select the Add button. More than one condition can be added if required. And to delete a condition, select the Trash Can button. First, we need to select the required binding, then select the desired condition from the drop-down list. Depending on the condition selected, a value or binding will need to be selected. In this example, a specific date, February 14th, needs to be selected on the due date property in the form for a certain action to happen. When more than one condition is required, users have the option to use AND or OR on additional conditions. The action type determines what sort of action is required. Format a control will change the control format such as color, Enable, Disable, Hide, or Show the Control as well. Next, Change a Value gives a specific value to a control. Math applies basic math to a control or set of controls. And Prompt User activates a pop-up window. Next, the target will need to be identified. The target list consists of the canvas and any control that has been added to the form. The action defines the act that will take place. Depending on the type selected, 
will determine the options supplied in the actions list. In this example, the format of the control identified in the target field will be highlighted red depending on the triggers or conditions selected. This wraps up the actions and script overview. Thank you for watching.